compared to our current? Oh, level one. <laughs> Hulk MVP as usual, Zane says. <laughs> Let's see. Not the best of things. Kind of terrible, actually. Yeah. Granted, 45 HP on a level two, thanks to Tough and the Arbalest HP, yeah. is pretty great. But. <laughs> but we don't have anybody requesting Musketeer. Right. I don't think we have anybody requesting Hellion either. Yeah, Swift was considering Musketeer, but I think uh, I think they're happy with See, plus five dodge is pretty nice. Right. But yeah, so yeah. far unless we get any requests, I won't worry about it right. too much. Uh, Eritas, what is that class? What is what class? <laughs> uh, Musketeer. Yeah, that is a. You are the advice man. Ooh. I am in the advice needing. Man, I appreciate so. it. <laughs> uh, but yes, if you are talking about. Ah, well, you are certainly welcome in this Darkest Dungeon yeah. stream. Yes, this is the Musketeer. It was a Kickstarter reward. We were not Kickstarters. <laughs> As we've mentioned earlier, uh, we modded it in because in our defense, when it was being Kickstarted, we had no idea this game even existed. Right. So... <laughs> True, Lorax did request five more Hellions as backup uh, Loraxes. <laughs> Lorax, the backup, backup dancers that are also Loraxes. <laughs> Actually. Barbaric rage and unrelenting Lorax make for a powerful ally. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> we only allow bad advice, please. <laughs> it's true. You all cannot give me good advice. <laughs> oh, you bad us. You bad us? Yeah, ben, ben had to live up to his reputation. Uh, to Ben had to live up to his reputation as a hacker. Yes. Um, do we have a short dungeon to play around? That's a demonologist cauldron, berserk charm, blasphemous vial. So nothing new right. under the sun here. Burn the books. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might have rooted Lorax. Um, what about the ruins? Uh, no, we don't. That's not. That's not a place we need to go next. But. Yeah, that's the thing. We don't really need it. Mm. So, I think I will go ahead and hop back into the warrens. Sounds good to me. Dig up the urns. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Flython. They're full. They're full of sand, and that means you need to take a shovel and dig it out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to me. Yeah, do you know what we we're talking about there? No, actually. Yeah, you, you use the the holy water to to wash it out, and uh, oh. then you can find the goodies. Whereas if you break it, you're assumed to be spilling all all the 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 ashes, and that is a very bad thing. Oh, I gotcha. And yeah, the musketeer is just a reskin or a blast. Yeah. Yo, I think we left out that part, but yeah, that's the. <laughs> All right, Lorax Price. I don't think anyone else, a uh, hunk, could use that. Mm. We are all one. It's a very hunk thing to say, or not say in his case. Right. But. <laughs> Focused and ready for action. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. They do have a separate set of trinkets and everything for it, right. and new animations and stuff. I actually like her animations quite a bit more than the Arbalests. Like in particular, I think the sidearm thing makes a lot more sense than the blind fire. So let's go ahead and we didn't cut, we didn't leave with much money out of that one, did we? <laughs> Wait a minute! Can but you only have one thing locked in at a time? You have three. Yeah, Draconel had one. I know he did. Yeah, he did. It was a natural eye beforehand, wasn't it? I don't believe so. I could have sworn. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, people have one thing locked in already. Might be Weird. confusing the music notes. It's possible, I guess, but I didn't think so. Um, anyway, we are going back into the Warrens, yes. I think. Oh, he's got Fear of Beasts. That's great. Well, that's a fair um, point. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, I, I mean, like the like blind firing a <laughs> like a, like blind firing a, a crossbow bolt versus whipping out your pistol and shooting. That conceptually is, is what is what I is what I was talking about. Yeah, the fact that the the sidearm is random. You know, right? Even very primitive uh, flintlock pistols weren't that inaccurate. <laughs> so, what should we do for this run? Uh -huh. I guess I could toss P bug back in there. Yeah. Yeah, no, re no reason not to. Again, I kind of want to have him be able to keep that those quick refluxes. Uh, yeah. And really, both of them have things I want to keep. Exactly. Like right. hard skinned and uh, natural eye are both good there. Right. 
Um, uh, oh, it says we're not sending. Uh, they're not sending Zane. You could send me and try to get me level five. True. Oh yeah, yeah, Valiant and any of the other new guys. Like I don't think we have a Keen either. You all want to join in? Uh, any of the Resident Evil named characters who we can rename for you right away, or we can grab anyone or else that you might need. One, right. Yeah, you're usually good in the ruins, but you should be fine here too. Yeah, and I we're think. done with ruins until level five anyway. Right. So, I was kind of thinking about tossing Zane in there, but the big problem was well, you're considering you like going for offense, you right? Know, for transforming, that would be fine. Yeah. SP of. Yeah, we, yeah these one. two are the ones that are usually good. Yeah, for. yeah, that's a good combo. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 10 damage and 3 speed, so, yeah. Okay. Then I guess we can go ahead and toss Sway back in. She is now tough. <laughs> she is tough enough. And she's got so she's got uh, inspiring tune and all that fun stuff, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, last, yeah. Last time Wayne caught a very unfortunate disease. That's true. We I, we need to get my disease cured. Before. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten. Then he does have fear of beasts. Of I but... like. I would like to be made into a leper or houndmaster too. Uh both of which we have. We have two. Uh, actually, we do. We, we have, do have a, leper a leper and. Yeah. I thought we had a. Well, we have that level 2 Houndmaster we could pick up. Right. But yeah, if he's cool with uh, Leper, then... Yeah, that's up to you, Valiant. We have uh, Jake here, who yeah. is a wield guy. Right. Or we could also grab... Um... I, I, don't, I think the quirks on that one were pretty... pretty. Over oh, that was last time. Oh, that was last time. Yep, never mind. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, you can be a Leper. <laughs> And if you find a Houndmaster later, later that you would like, we can use that instead. No, Valiant eight. Well, if if uh, it, when the next time we see Mog, we'll have to we'll have to point that out. That's part of his name. Uh, uh, I believe so. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Um, Unerring and Eagle Eye, right? Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Because that's how we roll. Clearly an archer before we caught leprosy. Right, right. <laughs> uh, regardless, I was going... Yeah, I hate all that stress damage, but we kind of need a healer, so... <laughs> yeah, like I Zane's answer there is like, Zoophobia is not how you spell Zootopia. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go with... Um... Yeah, do we have anybody we can use at the front? Uh... Oh, how Masters can work up front. Uh, True, if we used uh, Draconel yeah, instead. Yeah, the, the Billy Club, right. Of course, that would get rid of Hound's Rush, which is kind of the important True, thing. True, that, that's the clutch one. Right? On the other hand, if we're only using these... Transform, then, yeah, you're good to keeping go. Keeping him in the front would be all right. He'd still Absolution in front, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Fair enough. Clearly, you need to put uh, put Manuel up front and use Hands of the Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yep, club it, dudes, yes. <laughs> so he will be using for the incense we just got, to, or or the cauldron for damage, right? Either one. I, I'm worried about the stress damage. So that would be plus ten, plus twenty. Oh, right. That would be plus uh, forty-five. Snap! That's that's Two pretty beasts. dire. So okay. I am planning on getting him the uh, <laughs> the aria thingy yeah. for the stress damage. I, I agree. But I do think that having um. Thinking this one actually for for Damon's pull, yeah, and also for the debuff, yeah, that's good to me. Because yeah, we do not have any Eldritch thingies in here at all, right? So that's a good point. If we're basically going to have him there to heal and uh, lucky dice, and last time we did the Berserk charm, <laughs> which should still be all right, I think. Right. It, just, it makes the gestures pretty crazy fast, right? Then might as well just keep going with this. Yeah, you know, stun and damage. That's a guaranteed stun. And that's dodge. a pretty much guaranteed stun, and they can they can billy club anybody in the first three ranks, I believe. That's a pretty reliable <laughs> pig clubbing. What do I never? There could, could be, be a shambler. shambler. <laughs> there could very well be. Yep. Uh, 
But yeah, this is a short one, so we'll go ahead and... <laughs> we don't have anything light, you know, based, so we don't have to go too crazy on it. That's true. We didn't take any of the rings or anything. Um, it was just in case. I would only take one holy water because I, I don't. I think the only thing you would ever use it for is say. Well, I think it's one curio. Yeah. To use it with. That's the thing. I like keeping an extra just yeah. in case. Uh, maybe a bandage for the rack of blades. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Because we'll leave them in shambles. <laughs> ah, I like that. Idea. All right, let's rush on in. We have we have killed I think two of our five uh, shamblers. I think or, so. Or gotten like or gotten two relics rather. Right. I gotta say, since we, since we uh, still have the, uh, that's, that's the reason I haven't been wandering around in pitch darkness too much, with that chance of getting a shambler encounter. Right. Well, as long as you bring torches in your inventory, you can still retreat, pop the torch, and then he won't appear. Right. Uh, next time. Even still. Right. It's a long loading screen um, for a short dungeon. Gosh, I sure hope it didn't freeze on us. Well, if it did, we just have to go back to, we just have to restart the. It'll pick up where we left off. Will it? Yeah, all the saves really good. Oh. I've actually had this happen before. It crashed during a loading screen. Okay. Um, in that case, hold on, people. Yep. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> and yeah, between the two of us, we try to keep track of mm -hmm. most of the people that stream. Like, I know that I tend to go with Zane and Peabog. Right. And I know Wayne follows some other people as well. Yeah. All right. Prosecute our war against the swine. We must first scout their squalid homes. Squalid homes. Ooh, for dodging. <laughs> now, what does the moonshine do? Uh, that is herbs, and you turn it from a potential uh, buff debuff or nothing to some uh, some treasure. Let's go for it. I guess the idea is you clean out everything in there and. Oh, that's what it was, yeah. It, huh. it turns it into a buff, guaranteed. And otherwise, there's a chance of getting stuff if you if you uh, just explore. <laughs> Last time Nilheim streamed was on his laptop, which is better than the desktop. Ouch. <laughs> I, can actually, I can actually understand that. Right. Okay. Open the sack. We get the things. I've been planning on recording some uh, some old, some older, really really old games for, for for with my dad for Father's Day, and when you're run, running emulators like you know NES, pretty much all the way up to P, to PlayStation One, actually, my laptop does fine on recording and streaming, but anything more recent than that, and it just it just can't do it. Granted, you know, PS, on we go. Granted, PS2 emulators are pretty demanding, you know, even now. <laughs> That was a very uneventful trudge back. Yep. All right. Nothing wrong with that. But... And I believe that is a hope for the best uh, thing. Huh. You can get either a can get a quirk, a positive quirk, I think, out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing at all to worry about. And wow, Draconel has a sixth sense about traps. That's the second he's dodged this time. <laughs> exactly, Milheim. Yeah, the PS2, GameCube, that era were just, you know, very very demanding, kind of unstable. Yeah, the P ah. PS2 in particular, I understand, was a very, very odd, <laughs> very odd system. So many things are resisting. I'm starting to think maybe it might be better to not use the lucky dice and get the bleed dice instead. Just to up the odds of it going through. <laughs> human flesh is so, so inspired. inspired. <laughs> let's see, that's 15 dodge. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> let's go ahead and... It's true, for, for, for as much stress as he dishes out to the party, it's like one dose of the uh, gestures, like, uh, you know, the other the music thing will take care of that. So. There we Destroy them all. And neither of us have played, have played Wasteland 2, no. Is, is that what you're planning on uh, starting with? Okay, let's see if I can't... A bit of that, a dodge bonus. See, so yeah, if he doesn't do anything on the first turn... 
Uh, Wasteland 2 was the remake that came out like last year or the year before, right? Something like that? But I think Mog streamed that. If that's the game I'm thinking of. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's at least getting some. No quarter. <laughs> Yeah, whatever this does, it's going to hurt. Right. <laughs> ah, it's a giant pig man with a lance, you know. Well, how bad could it be? Oh, if you demons pull them, that'll clear the corpses and leave them stuck in... Uh, uh, won't he still do a lot of damage because he's the only one left? He'll do Crunching Backhand, which is a... a basically, I think it hits the first two with a chance to stun. and But that's it. He, he can't do the Boar Spear from one and two. Huh. Okay. It's yeah, one that could be much start, worse. Right. Yep. Uh, free on Steam right now. So, yeah, I might just go ahead and grab it just for that. Yeah. yeah why not, right? <laughs> this party turn based game. Because that must be the one I'm thinking of then. Yeah, I know, I know uh, Mog had a lot of fun with it. So, it says it does like a penalty to dodge and stuff like that. Uh, so that's for him, I believe. Ah. Yeah, I don't think it's a debuff. Right. But it would be nice if it was. It's one with a chance to hit a second. Okay, that's why I thought it was two. Right. Yeah, okay, thank you, Sprawl. I was wondering about that. It seemed like for the... for the Yeah, it seemed like for those fish guys, it's like, can they always do... A, do they have a version that does two? And they just choose not to do it thanks to lol RNG sometimes. Yeah, he's pretty much dead. Right. I think he can do some healing too, yeah. Yep. There we are. Nice. Ooh, that could have been worse. <laughs> Sharpened blade or sharpened teeth. Oh, we got a, another paralyzer's crust. Mm. I'll solve for a fair bit. Use the key! <laughs> More crests and bandages. That's always useful. Basically, we can skip one of uh, these. I'm hoping that I'll be able to scout and um, see. I'm thinking I've got herbs enough to give him a damage bonus, too. Sure. Don't forget the two uh, doggy trees, too. Yep. Maybe next time I run into a swine tar. Unfortunately, nothing he can do in rank four. He's a good do it in human form either. Right. So, and my idea is to just uh, toss out the damage there. That is pretty much what you do. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what I had in mind. Jeez. <laughs> As I say, considering that Sway wasn't going to contribute much toward kill, well, not a third of his health. Yeah, but maybe just uh, to get some stress. That's the thing. I wouldn't be able. I'd basically be keeping track with uh, track with him. If that. True, true. Oof. The fits is okay, as I recall. Some time in this human brew, and it's just so good. <laughs> That's... Eh, at least it's speed. He it won't, it won't get another critical hit like we just got, right. unfortunately. There we are. That's what I like to see. Yeah, no, hon, I, I, it's a, it, it took me a little while to get into it. And I made a lot of mistakes early on. If you've been checking our YouTube, you could you you will see. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's a very fun game. Hmm. I don't know if it's a brew made of humans, uh, Sprawl. I don't think you'll. I'll risk it. I don't, th I don't think you'll get you'll get much useful ethanol out of a out of human uh, corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Early on, sprawl, sprawl jokes? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> How is it varies from person to person? Oh, nice. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay, so he is not dead yet, but he'll get there. Right. Especially with me constantly poking him. <laughs> <laughs> All a matter of taste. <laughs> oh, hug doggy. 
Oh, uh, stole it from Futurama. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess like play play the play the applause in reverse. I revoke right. it. Right. <laughs> Fair bit of cash. Good, yeah, good haul. Unfortunately, none of the. Um... Yeah, now that I know Ow, that wasn't dark. <laughs> yeah, now that I know that the the Madman drop music box is some kind of, uh, it's kind of annoyed when they don't. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we've got the one music box, and that's it. Right. I could make it a hat trick, but I will not. <laughs> um, instead, let's just let's see what happens. Kicked off all right. Huh. Ah, and this is why I brought shovels. Nice. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Trapper battle. Oh, hunger. We got enough for one more of those, and hopefully, I guess hopefully we get another, another uh, chance to get some more food. Since yeah, I think we will. Uh -huh. Not a lot of fights in this area. It's yeah. Weird. We got pretty lucky with the number of encounters. It feels like. Well, depends on how you look at it. Because the fewer encounters you have, plus treasure, right? Right. There we are. I, I figured it was a very, a very low chance of dropping the, the music box. I wonder if the it'd be nice if there was a way to to improve that, considering they aren't they aren't very common uh, enemies. They can't they can't pop up anywhere though. That's kind of the trade off, I guess. Right. As the fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Yep. Vomit. <laughs> Those hook guys are just, just obnoxious. They are. They, and they do a lot of damage. Right. Too. They, do, they do a ton of damage. They tend to have just enough they HP and protection to shrug off one hit. Unless you send a. You know, sometimes if you send a heavy hitter at them, you know, they, they, can, they can do it in one. Let's see. Yeah, I guess do that in the Hounds Rush. Death to all madmen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of those things that it's like. Yeah, the the initial encounter rate doesn't seem amazingly high, but yeah, the fact they can they can pop up anywhere, and yeah, sometimes they just get a couple of them in a row. Hmm. Death to all. <laughs> now he's one of the few that can actually hit him. That's true. Yeah, with this setup, half the team can't hit rank one. Not that I'm overly concerned about that. But... Right. Yeah, they have a, they have other things to do, like right. swagging people stress back down. Wow. There we are. Yeah, they, they are they are pretty obnoxious, uh, sprawl. I have a special place in my heart of, of hating the uh, the swine spitters, just because that's what uh, got me the got me the only TPK I've had in the game so far. <laughs> but you mean the uh, spider spitters, right? Uh, no, the, 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 those, uh, those pig guys. Oh, oh really? Pigs, yeah. Oh, because I thought us. Oh, that's right, that wasn't a TPK. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's, it's, there's five five critical hits in a row, and it gets stressed out, affliction, and. Uh. <laughs> you should be dead on the Houndmaster's turn. Right. He'll absolve himself. Yep. Yeah, there is a very slight chance that wouldn't have worked, but right. I had faith. Yeah, we, who, who knows? Might actually get two trains to out of this one. Whoa! Or is it merely Let's not be too crazy here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you failed to wipe to the best swine of all. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm and and, and while, while you're here, if you want if you want to get a character named after you, we do requests on that too. Yeah, absolutely. Arg. We just had uh, Valiant to get a one of our lepers and named after him. Aw. So gross. Yeah, probably a good time to use that. Yep. One of the few times where it actually might be useful. Yeah, I think it's the first time we've used that in this entire uh, run so far. Let's see. Oh, with the bleed, that's pretty much a guaranteed chance. Of uh, killing them. Yeah. Oh, Executed. even more guaranteed yeah. chance. <laughs> yeah, I just wish that if 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 an enemy critical hit can stress all of your people, a critical hit on them should recover stress to everybody. Right. 
Instead of just the one person. Right. One and potentially one other, yeah. Especially either either that or not or not or not raise the critical hit so much at the higher uh, higher difficulty levels. I think Jacknell should be able to move before. <laughs> yeah, Sprawl says, uh, now oh, Wayne, okay. that you that you play this game, you are uh, you are obliged to go to the other Darkest Dungeon streams to tell people to use a torch and shovel and everything. <laughs> Oh, they did use to recover stress and everybody it was kind of broken. I see. I, I like to imagine that 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 uh, darkest dungeon streamers kind of like the the uh, the fruitcake uh, Christmas fruitcake of the of the stream world. Just you know, when you get bad advice, you have to pass it on to everybody else. <laughs> I actually can see that. Um, let's go and toss. Hmm. What should I toss? Citrines. Actually, I'm kind of thinking the shovel. Oh yeah, yeah. Shovels might, you know, might be done with those. Yeah. On the other hand, maybe not. Uh, Actually, let's just go with the torches. Sure. Yeah. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength. I only need to explore it. one more anyway. So. Ah, the person who lands it always gets it, which I did, which I did know, but everybody else has a chance. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Criticals didn't use to recover strength. Well, critical heal. Yeah. It used to be that uh, if you had a critical, you have a critical on a heal move, you would heal the double or whatever. Well, actually, originally, you could, originally criticals could not heal, as I recall. I remember seeing some debate about that in the Darkest Dungeon forums and everything. Glittering gold. Wow. Could drop the holy water. Blood. Yeah. The, thing, the only thing you could possibly use it for is the. The, the altar stone. That's a room curio. Arg. <laughs> and Python is once again glad he came to this place, as are we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have been they have been a thing for a long time, right? Yeah. It's it's funny seeing seeing those discussions from early twenty fifteen. And uh, then playing it now. First week of release, maybe. Okay, wow. I guess it makes sense that the, the some of the most uh, vocal and prominent commentary would be right at the beginning. Everybody oh, nice kind damage. of excellent. Everybody kind of weighing in on things before the the meta is fully formed and flushed out and everything. Right. Because <laughs> critical heals for zero are things people like to screen cap. <laughs> right. Good old uh, occultist. Yep. <laughs> Mount, um, so too will resistance. There we go. There we go. We said to wait for the animation to play out. Right. For... Um, I think the are more important than 75 gold. Yeah. And. We might actually get to take care of some Jade and Sutrine out of a dungeon. I don't know how to feel about this. Now well, let's go to the last <laughs> one. Yeah, until we, until we run out of food, I guess. Right. Might as well finish exploring. No, we're not going to be doing it, I don't think. Right. Oh, finally didn't that dodge the trap. We've <laughs> all been Arg! <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, if, if, that if, has never worked for me. It is not going to start working now. If it was earlier in the dungeon, maybe it would have been worth a risk to get to get Sway to de-stress them Any back. Carriers? But... Why not worth it now? Finding the stuff is only the first test. And Fang just wants to go back to his invincible leopard days where heart attacks were not a thing. <laughs> and just stack up your death store resistance and. Yep. The protection is still pretty good even now, but definitely, right. not, definitely not the. What did I used to be? Yeah, it's not the be all now. Right. I honestly think I would prefer a, a an amount where like protection was a lower value. But it still worked as as DR because uh, as it is, it doesn't it doesn't seem that useful for a lot of a lot of enemies. Here we go. Where sometimes sometimes Sheesh. sometimes they just have a really high attackers have a really high damage bonus to get around the protection. <laughs> Here we are. Rolf. Right. That's my favorite of the Muppets. 
his chances of miss of hitting are not that great. Right, right. There, there we are. go. Yeah. Here's the thing, Wayne. Okay, Sprawl. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. Drat. I can tell we're going to need to do. We're going to need a lot more snuff before we're through. <laughs> there we are. Okay, that was worth These it. Nightmarish creatures can be let's get rid of the dog treats. Oh, wow. And let's get rid of. As far as, I was, I was explaining all the trinkets and stuff, they give five protection or so now. You the same out of the old system. Which you know was when it was so like the yard. So I, I could imagine like heavy boots back then would basically just make somebody invincible. Right. All right. Good times. Yeah. As, with the current system on protection, I think it would make more sense if it was more common. If that or had oh, higher. Oh, is a known cheat. <laughs> and I think that's better. Not to mention too, I think Ego. No, Ego Mania wasn't locked in. Yeah, it wouldn't have swapped if yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't think so. As a very definition of a locked in trade. Yeah, that, that's such a kind of a bad one because uh, you go, there are so few. Oof, Lorax <laughs> lost more gold. Is it basically the, thing, the way Egomania is set up? It almost never actually triggers. There's so many of the the curios that can trigger it are, are in rooms already. Another aspect of the pitch black mod Python shares with with to horrify the class is uh, Black Plague that instead does minus 5 speed, minus 80 health, and 100% death blow. Ah, uh, this, yeah. All right, and this is the group that we have, if any of you want that. <laughs> Seriously, Lorax, what is it with your characters and losing money? 